At long last, the United States passed a Ukraine aid bill and is sending more than a billion dollars worth of weaponry to Ukraine. That means Ukraine can finally win the war with Russia, right? Well, no. Not at all, really. This aid is not an aid towards victory, just to be clear. It's an aid towards avoiding a very clear loss. That's Irina Sukerman, a national security lawyer and geopolitical analyst. She says for months, while Congress debated whether or not to send more aid, Ukrainian soldiers were forced to ration everything, even bullets. So that's huge. That means they've had to literally not not shoot at very fairly easy targets and essentially most of their uh, expenditure of ammunition right now is entirely defensive. Once President Biden signed the more than $61 billion aid bill into law, he immediately used his drawdown authority to put together an initial aid package totaling more than a billion dollars. But not all of that money is going to Ukraine. Around three quarters of the funds will be spent here in the United States to restock our own supplies. What is included for Ukraine in this first tranche is ammunition for pretty much every kind of U.S. weapon in country, small arms rounds for rifles, several types of missiles for air defense systems, artillery, including high explosive and cluster rounds, more Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, and the long-range variant of the Attackums missile, which is designed to be used against more hardened targets like buildings and bunkers. Many in Congress thought this would be the first time the long-range Attackums would be sent to Ukraine, but after President Biden signed the aid deal into law, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan revealed the U.S. had already secretly sent some long-range Attackums to Ukraine in February and March, and that they were used against a Russian airfield in Crimea. The attack proves Ukraine can use these ground-launched weapons to strike hardened targets up to 200 miles away. So more Russian logistics hubs, command centers, and other sensitive sites are now at much greater risk. The more they can uh, break down uh, any sort of connection between any sort of occupied territories that Russia has and their ability to reach Ukrainian Ukrainian territories that are currently in dispute, uh, the, the better it is, because then Russia has to take time to rebuild all of that, and you know, by the time they rebuild, they can be taken down again. Sukerman says she has no doubts Ukraine will find ways to ration its new supply of attackums effectively, but the weapons will not be enough to secure a Ukrainian victory. This is just barely what should have been done six months ago. This is the aid from six months ago that was supposed to come in then. The aid for what should have come in now is not even being debated yet. What do you feel like that aid needs to be? Like, what should we be debating next to of what should be sent I, over? I think significantly more uh, ammunition than even what is being said. I think uh, more Patriot batteries for sure. Germany indicated it may send another Patriot air defense system to Ukraine. Sukerman says Israel may also have some systems to spare. Israel's relationship with Russia is complicated, and there were some concerns Israel's air defense systems may not be able to stop Russian weapons since they were designed to counter Iranian threats. But since Russia is relying more and more on Iranian weapons to attack Ukraine, Israeli air defenses would likely work just fine.